Yo, 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 what's happening? It's Chef Biz back at it again with another video for you guys. But before we start, make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the bell, and share the video with your friends, guys. All right? So what we're doing today is pretty simple. We're going to make roasted garlic puree. All right? So that's roasted garlic puree, and we're going to utilize this puree that we're going to make in our roasted garlic mash. I'm going to show you guys how to make later, all right? So stay tuned. <laughs> Slice <Yeah, boy. laughs> So this is pretty much it, guys. <laughs> it's like only if it was that easy, right? Stay tuned, though. Swipe. So I'm using what I'm using here is my paring knife, just cleaning the skin off and taking the bottom off the the garlic. Like I say, want a nice smooth puree. Just make sure you get all the skin off. All right, we don't want no excess skin on the um and the smooth puree that we're making here. All right. Boom. Take it. We're gonna clean the skin off. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is make enough for the puree that I'm making. And also I'm gonna make enough for the um turkey. We also making turkey later on, guys. So stay tuned. Make sure you like I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and share this video. We're doing good numbers right now, guys. We're doing amazing numbers. All right, 200, 200 subscribers. Two months in, you can't do no better, All right? Make sure you focus on what you're doing so you don't like cut yourself by accident, All right? Boom, Boom. get in the pot, All right? So stay tuned. All right, guys. So this is what we have right now. After three cloves, we have this amount. I feel like this is a good amount of pure, uh, garlic cloves right here. Some oil to that uh, garlic cloves. And you're pretty much gonna get two things out of this. You're gonna get some garlic oil, and then you're gonna also have a nice, soft, smooth puree. Now you don't wanna add too much oil, just enough to cover the cloves, all right? We'll make sure we all the cloves are submerged, and that's a good amount of oil right there. Everything is submerged. So what we wanna do, put the heat, let's put the heat on like a, on the four, pretty much on low, all right? So put the heat on low, and then just let the stove do the magic. All right, guys, there we have it. Back at it. I think this is ready to go now. Super soft, so we're gonna get these out the oil, strain it, and then get these pureed up, all right? Stay tuned. Look left, look right, swipe. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna strain all the oil out. Boom. That's it. See that beautiful golden color we have right here? Now what we might have to do is um, use a little bit of the oil to get the uh, blender going. Yeah, this is beautiful right here. Nice, soft. Oh yeah. We're good to go. See, I can even break it up with my, with my fork. But let's get in this container and get it pureed up, all right? Get a little bit of this oil in here to get that motion going. Let's get it going. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go, 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 here we go. Y'all see it, y'all see it, y'all see it. Always make sure your always make sure your equipment is nice and sharp, ready to go. Nice clean. I got 
got my water set up right there and boop. we got like 15 more to go all right look left look right <laughs> All right, guys. So here we are. We about to make the um the roasted garlic uh sauce right here for the potatoes. I'm using silk almond milk. You can use whatever kind of milk you want. I'm lactose intolerant, so I rock with silk. Ah, right, y'all. You guys see it? We got the we got the heat on. We got the garlic roasted garlic puree we made yesterday. We about to utilize that today. We got some garlic powder. We got some white pepper. And we got some butter, y'all. So let's get it going. So we're gonna just we're gonna let's bring this to a simmer and we're gonna start adding all the ingredients. All right, stay tuned. Alright, guys, as you can see, the milk has came to a simmer, so we're gonna add the butter. We're gonna whisk that up in there, the garlic puree. The roast the garlic puree, you're gonna start off with like a tablespoon. Right. White pepper. Do just incorporate everything together. Get that butter to melt. Taste as you go. Make sure you have uh, you can taste that garlic flavor in the milk. incorporate it and then just cut it off and that'll be the end of that as long as the taste is there the flavor is there you don't have nothing to worry about you don't see no lumps of butter no lumps of garlic puree in there you're good to go you can cut it off and then if you're making a mash that same day just pour it inside the uh, mashed potatoes after you boil them and you're going to mash them pour, pour it in there slowly and mash it up because you may not need all of this right here you may just need enough to um Get everything nice and soft and you can taste it. Make sure you get to go. So we're gonna give this one more taste. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. All right, all right, guys. Back at around two chef biz here. We get some water going for the potatoes. We're gonna throw a couple of sprigs of bay leaves. Some salt. Just enough to give that salty, the little salt flavor in there. Right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Y'all see this? Potatoes is really soft. They pretty much ready to go. That's why I cut them kind of, that's why I cut them in half a quarter of them. So they won't take as long to cook. But you want it to be super soft. So when you're mashing it, you don't have to have, end up with like lumps or pieces that you know it's still kind of kind of hard so now guys the, the sauce we made earlier the roasted garlic puree with the milk is being added to the mash to the potatoes we boiled earlier and uh, everything is getting incorporated as you can see thank you to my assistant here mm. nice and smooth the key is to boil the potatoes as soft as you can get them makes it a little bit easier do it while it's hot, don't let it cool off and then try to do it. 
that's what we're trying to do.